all problems are created in the mind and we are more likely to cause ourselves pain just by staying in the past. The first thing we need to do is come into the present moment and actually feel it with every being, with every cell and every inch of our body and that's how we come more conscious and more aware because it's easy to go through life being unconscious, not questioning anything, just keep going on the same program, playing those negative memories in your mind and reliving past experiences that aren't gratifying and aren't positive. This is a good example of how we make each day terrible and we keep reliving those terrible emotions because that's all we've ever known. He encourages us to come into the now and to accept ourselves as we are. A really powerful statement from this is instead of saying it is what it is or he offers it is as it is so that gives a, a lighter sentiment that life is flowing from us around us and we're actually connected everything is connected by love everything is an extension of love so we should see ourselves um, reflected in others in other things, in nature, in objects, and we should treat them with the kindness and compassion that we give to ourselves. You need to ask yourself, is there joy, ease, and lightness in what you're doing? Most likely, if you've been living in low emotions of grief, sadness, anxiety, lack, you're feeling pretty heavy right now, and that's okay. We encourage you to come into the now and to be present you'll realize that in this moment, there aren't any problems. Most of the problems are created from the mind and that's how we create this pain body. And we carry around this pain body with us for years and years and years. Some of us realize we've had enough, so we turn to spiritual or personal development books to help us. And this is good because we realize that we're missing those higher elevated emotions such as love, joy, gratitude. So it's time to step into those emotions and become a light because once we come a light for ourselves, we're able to light the path and bring other people up with us. The main point is to surrender, surrender into the eternal now it's kind of scary too and i understand that because our ego likes to keep us safe and it likes to keep us with what's familiar so if what's familiar for you is lack guilt anxiety fear you're gonna be competing with yourself and it'll be really hard for you to step into those elevated emotions you'll probably be confused as i was so this isn't to say it's not possible, it's a journey. It's you transitioning from who you were in the past and who you want to be in the future. And I think for that reason, this book is very inspiring. It is a, a question and answer format, so just be wary of that. You will not be able to speed through this. You're gonna have to sit down and read through it carefully. It is more so spiritual than a personal growth, I would say. Like I try to see it from both sides because uh, it's listed on the back there as both, but I would say it's, it's about 75% spiritual, the rest personal development. It really makes you dig deep and question a lot of things. So hopefully if you like the question and answer format, this will be the book for you. And um, that's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.